Hey guys, Bing here. Um, today I'm going to show you how to quickly model this roof structure. So something like this one. Okay, so let's start. So first, create a project. Um, I'm going to draw some wall and uh, also I'll select this button here. Okay, so this one I'll change to six meter wide, and the six meter wide here as well. So, so this will be something maybe this shape. Okay, so now select all the wall, change that to maybe three meter, three meters high. Okay, and then create a roof. Pick all the uh, pick walls with overhands, maybe 600 overhand. Pick all the oops, pick no, no, it's all right, and then finish. Go to 3D view. So, because this roof is on um, level one, maybe I'll change that to ground floor with three meter offset. So, and also, I'm going to change that to the uh, this thing uh, roof. So um, I'll leave it for now. I'll leave it for now. So so uh, I'll go to 3D view. Oh, this is 3D view. So let's start to model this. Okay. So first we let's model some um, top plate. Yep. So I'll hide this roof. So go structure being low family. So it's under structure framing wood and this one. So just pick one and I'll just create a new one. So top plate with a 45 by 90 or 35 by 90. Yeah, I can't remember but just I'll just make it 45 by 90. Oops, 45 by 45 by 90 and OK. So now if I have this three stepping selected and the pick long, I pick this edge of the wall and uh, see it's uh, a vertical sitting vertically. So just select this one, turn it 90 degrees and then also half sitting up. Uh, maybe I'll change this one to right. No, that. Okay, so now it's sitting on top of the start wall. So, because uh, if I check the uh, structure of the wall, so that's not a timber. So there's no uh, task wall for this one. So that's fine. So it's sitting right on on the top uh, of the start wall. So, so this one's finished. C S and pick the the rest. So they, it's okay. Select all, and then change that to ninety degrees. So all good, all good now. So now let's do uh, add some rafter. What's that called? Uh, which which raft which board for this uh, diagonal beams? Okay. So H R to turn to show the roof and I'll probably hide, temporarily hide these walls as well as the top plate so now I'll go to beam um, I guess this side I'll, I'll just use the same size okay so if, if, if you have uh, used different size you just need to edit type and duplicate so pick with 3D snapping checked pick line so pick this one, two, three. So pick this, and also I'm going to create this fascia board because uh, this will be good for us to define the boundary of the. Because uh, later we will create some uh, beam system. So okay, so duplicate this uh, beam. I'll call it fascia and change that to. 19 by 190 okay and 
then if I pick pick this maybe I'll pick here and pick here and pick here and also here so I'll just ignore this part okay we are going to model this part only so uh, what's the next so the next will be we we need to model this beam system so this one so what's that called jack rafter or oh, creeper rafter why is it different oh that's jack this one so this creeper rafter creeper rafter okay turn actual hidden line so now go structure beam system set work plan pick plan okay so pick this one and then use uh, pick support so one two three and then we need to define this direction so go beam direction draw a line from here sp here and now this one so if if you choose max spacing it's always center if you choose mm, fixed distance so it, you will you will be able to uh, pick direction line so here i want to make sure so this one so it says one uh, rafter in the center from start from this point so i just pick direction line and also fix distance let me try 900 so apply okay so uh, that's a little warning here i'll just uh, resolve it or ignore it and here we have a little tiny uh, rafter here so maybe I'll just change that 900 to 800 so yeah it's better oh, and also I just noticed that uh, beam type yep so now it's okay now now let's do the rest so this one this one okay. I'll ignore this part I'll just we only do this one uh, structure beam system set the plan pick a plan okay pick this plan pick support so one two three four direction draw line from this from this this corner from this corner which is here right so this one from this corner and then SP yeah that right and then okay and resolve so and also let's have a look at the, so I forgot to change the beam type again so I'll just change that to and also 800 so this way it will all match on uh, the, the left on this side so let's do this one structure beam system set pick plan okay pick this one pick support one two three four and change this beam type change this to 800 and draw a beam direction from this point sp to this edge and okay and resolve it so now we have all these right so we have all the raptors so now what hr to turn the wall back on so if we cut a um let's say i'll just do a section box section box and then drag this to show the where the roof where um, the roof sitting on the wall so looks like it's just sitting on the nice day yeah okay so good so let's uncheck the section box and uh, maybe these facial boards are a little low maybe i'll set up them and make them with a z z justification maybe change that to center maybe okay so yeah you can always like these corners you can pick these handles don't don't pick the point pick these handles is fine you just drag this back and you can 
just tie up this corner or you can just do it here I think just tie zero or oh, zeros here uh, maybe just drag this one and drag this one to match okay so shade with nine so let me just hide this roof for now so we need here we need some horizontal um, let's let's so what's that called jack ceiling joist so that's a few different options for uh, before before this I'll do these ones first so these ones you can just draw a horizontal and copy and paste or you can also do a beam system so I'll, I'll, I'll just do a copy and paste so I'll do it from uh, copy from this one so copy it by 44 millimeter so because this is a, a sloped thing I'll just need to change this to, uh, before I change I'll just check the spot elevation of this the top of the top plate so 3045 so what, we, what I can do is select this one and 3045 and the other one 3045 okay and also the the justification changed from top to bottom so now it's sitting on on top of the top plate and then you can do use a uh, trim extend pick pick this face pick this beam also do it here pick this face pick this beam and then you can just copy and paste so multiple 800 i guess 800 800 so something like this yeah and then so for this one for this one i'll do a beam system so we do it differently so so you know how so all the options for so beam system so first set work plan so always set work plan first here uh, i'll pick this port this one the top of this this uh what's that called what's this beam uh, maybe this one seating or uh, seating joist yeah, yeah seating joist so here yeah, pick this face and then pick support so one two three four trim and the direction so this one i'm going to pick uh pick here yeah, so to see that's direction line let's for this one i'll say beginning uh, I'm not sure maybe not beginning I'll just uh, do a direction line and I'll draw a line I'll draw a line here okay so I'll draw a line here just a uh, uh, align to this side of this thing maybe I'll just move it to move it for 45 divided by 2 and then let's say let's see oh what's happening oh hell so it should be this one pick here and okay no sorry delete there's no direction draw direction i'll just pick a line no we don't let me pick so I'll draw one here and uh, I'll move it for 22.5 OK yep so that's that's it and then I need to edit boundary and then align to this external side and then yep and also this side to make it perfect so like this so this is a beam system to uh, method or you can just draw a horizontal in the copy and paste okay so now what's what's next yeah I think it's pretty much all at this corner so yeah sometimes you will have all the like uh, um, the truss shape the vertical web or these things like these what's it called 
move the strut, strut. Yeah, but uh, today I'm just I'll just finish here. So and uh, yeah, if you do need to model the oh, the whole uh, roof structure, so you just like uh, follow these simple steps. So have all the main structure first and then all do you can just create all the pick the work plan of the roof face and then do all the uh, beam systems okay so if you have any questions just, just let me know and i'll see you next time